watching Movie Guide, I'm Evie Bear. Recently, I had the opportunity to go to Nashville and cover the premiere of The Good Lie. It's a new, heartfelt, inspirational movie with Reese Witherspoon. We also got an opportunity to talk to the other cast and crew. Let's check it out right now. Now, how do you feel like the faith of the um, refugees helps them get through it? Well, I think it's it's a, a big part of the film that one of the refugees in the film is um, a minister, and he gives a beautiful sermon about the lost boys that uh, is very emotional, and I'm, I think people will really identify with the message. The real Sudanese refugees, what do you think it is that really holds them together? They've got, you know, how do they get through this traumatic experience? I mean, I, I, I really, I can't... Uh, I can't pretend to know what, 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 what brings you through such incredibly harrowing, almost biblical uh, uh, challenges. Um, but I think, I think family, in whatever form that you can create, is, is, uh, is such a source of strength. You know, that, uh, you know, there are so much physical challenges and deprivations along the way. I think perhaps the, the, the most painful part was the, the, the the ripping apart of families, and what the community, the South Sudanese community here, has done is is, is reach out to each other and to other people uh, in the, in the in the general community, and and created their own families. And I think that's that's um, that's really important. So your character is kind of she works at a nonprofit, and she helps facilitate the refugees come in to America. Right? Yeah, I mean, her job is basically once they get here to help get them settled, get them in an apartment, get them, you know, couch, uh, plates, that kind of thing, yeah. And she kind of explains, I mean, not through words, but the cultural difference, right? Yeah, I mean, she really doesn't, um, she doesn't really know what they've been through, but she's there to sort of help them moving forward. So in a lot of ways, she's very by the book. She's been there before with refugees from all over the world, and she has probably very little awareness of all that they've been through, but she definitely has a good heart and is trying to help them now that they're here. Yeah. And what do you think it is that keeps them together, you know, motivated to keep going on, to pushing on, even through all the hardship? Yeah, you know, I think it's a sense of family, and the family you're with, whether they're your family um, by blood or not, is, is what you want to stick with. And they've been through so much together that I think that's all that's important to them is staying together. What is your background, and how, what did you know about The Good Lie before you were going into it in the, the behind-the-scenes story? Actually, um, I'm also a refugee. I, was, I brought, came to the U.S. as a refugee, as a child. And so for me, um, at first I didn't really know how to deal with the, the script because it was very intense, and I hadn't really gone into studying my own history. And so it was a realization for me, and it was a journey, in that sense, where I had to study my character, and I interviewed a lot of women who I knew, and yeah, so... And it, you feel like this is probably a uh, motivation for you doing it for people to um, uh, the same way kind of mm -hmm. learn about it, right? Yes, yes, and I think that um, what I want people to take from this is that this is this is a story that bridges gaps. You know, it's not just a Sudan story or an American story; it's a human story. I want to know the process here because this is an incredible story that you've written. Tell me how you got on board with it. You know, tell us the process. Well, it was 11 years ago that I got the job, and um, I want. I love this story. I, I have brothers, and uh, I have a, actually I have a disabled brother that I'm very devoted to and help take care of and would do anything for. And so when I started learning about these guys and how close they were and how they they would live and die for each other, I went, well, I kind of get that. I know. I know. I. I I know it seems strange, and then I knew a lot about Africa, and I knew a lot about Sudan, and I just went in and I wanted the job. And I came up with this huge pitch about Theo and Mamere and these brothers and uh, this woman in Kansas City who helps them, and uh, and they bought it. And then I worked on it for a couple of years, and then our producer died, and uh, this studio put it in, and the Lost Boys all came and spoke at his funeral. Wow! They drove from all over the country, and um, and then it was in turnaround, which means the studio that owned it was not let anybody else make it or touch it wouldn't let it out but there's a little known rule in the Writers Guild of America that after five years if, no, if the studio is still holding
selling your script, you can take it out for 18 months and try and get someone else to buy it yourself. So I went in after five years and they were like, what? And I was like, give it back. Wow. So Ron Howard and Brian Grazer and Karen Kahala Sherwood got on board first and then uh, we got it financed. Molly Smith came on and I kept saying, we just need someone who understands. We need one person who would want to help us finance this. And sure enough, Molly Smith's brother, Fred Smith adopted a lost boy at his church wow. and had put him through college. He's got his PhD and now he works at FedEx. So Molly, who is his daughter, who's a film producer, really, really talented, she was like, I I want to make this for my brother. Yeah. I want to, uh, so it, it all worked out in the end. So it's like it has this happy ending. Yeah, it's definitely. It's Have a, you, are you going to watch it? I saw it. Oh, you saw it? Yes. Oh, great. And okay. I thought it was a great job that you did because there was that heart and you would cry, but the next moment you would laugh. You'd laugh. It's, it's very funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. It had to be funny. And the Lost Boys are funny. And the people that don't understand them, like there's so much humor in coming to America yeah. when you've been living in a, you know, a Stone Age culture literally yeah. and how do you make sense of all of this it's yeah. crazy right or a car or seasons or ice or water coming out of a tap you yeah. know I mean things like that it was just and that's how you know they've been living in these really primitive conditions so yeah. there's a lot of humor in that but there's also humor in Reese's character trying to like what is your deal you know she's yeah. she's great yeah. she's just great Thanks for watching. To find out more about entertainment news that follows your values, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and like us on Facebook so you can know before you go.